More than a million people are without power in Ukraine after a Russian attack on the country's en energy infrastructure. According to President Vladimir Putin, Moscow launched 90 missiles and 100 drones overnight in response to Ukraine's long-range strikes on Russian territory. Well, thousands of people in the capital, Kiev, were forced to take shelter after air raid sirens sounded across the whole of the country. Officials say the power blackouts occurred after Kiev and other major cities across central and western Ukraine were targeted. Uh, Putin says Russia is selecting targets in Ukraine that could include decision-making centres in Kiev. Well, our chief correspondent, Stuart Ramsey, is there with the latest. Well, it's the second big strike, uh, Jane, in the last few weeks since I, I've been here, after the infrastructure. A lot of the attacks that have uh, brought about, what, power outages for about a million people are have been in the west of the country. But as you said, and it's always worth uh, remembering, Russia can strike anywhere in Ukraine and does so on a regular basis. Um, one of the reasons for the power outages is not that necessarily uh, power stations have been hit, but they turn off the power uh, as engineers try to get the grid up and running again properly. It's already reduced. And I have to say, this has been going on for years now. This is a, a, one of the tactics of Russia. And it's nothing particularly effective in terms of military advantage. It is to undermine the will of the Ukrainian people. You take out the power, houses have no electricity, they, they, they have no lights at night, and you see that all over the city, um, huge apartment blocks with just a few dim lights which are powered from batteries uh, and, and, and generators. So they're trying to undermine uh, the will of the Ukrainian people. To a degree, it's working because people do live in fear. We've had huge numbers of drone at uh, attacks uh, on Kyiv in the last um, few days in particular, missile strikes as well. So this is a big attack. It's happened before. I have absolutely no doubt it'll happen again. Well, let's get more with our military analyst here in the studio, Sean Bell. So why now, Sean? Yeah, good uh, morning, Jane. Each year, the energy infrastructure is struck exactly as uh, said, you try and knock morale. But there's another reason as well, is that also uh, President Zelensky has famously said he's going to produce a million drones each year from the defence industry in Ukraine. If you take out the power of the industry, you can't make the drones, and that's undoubtedly one of the focuses as well. What is interesting is Ukraine has become very effective at getting these grids back up and running, but, of course, inevitably, that ends up with some breaks. Why now? Uh, almost certainly, A, it's winter, it gets ferocious cold up there, but it's no coincidence. We're approaching the 20th of January. Um, Putin is pushing everything he can at Ukraine, not only to take as much territory as possible, also to knock morale as low as possible, ready for a potential negotiation uh, at that time. So it, I, I think we're going to see more of the same and a surge. Normally, each winter, we've seen a bit of a decline. I suspect we're going to see a surge over the coming weeks.